Uh-oh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm not turning into Pablo. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to Ladies Night. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about tonight. Um, let's see uh, what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna do it differently. Uh, I'm gonna bring the girls up. Sorry, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, guys. All right, let's go. Sorry, let's see. There we go. All right, let's do this. Uh, who am I bringing up first? We're gonna bring up Miss Tasha. Hey, hey, hey! I made it. Can you hear me? Oh, did I press you? Come up. Are you coming up, girl? Uh oh. Okay, guys, can y'all hear me? Oh, I'm frozen. No, can't be froze. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on, guys. I'm having technical difficulties. Hey, sorry. Can you, my camera's right. my camera's acting up, but I can hear you and see you. <laughs> well, you're we're live, so no, I know. Yeah, Hi. Uh, <laughs> I think all kind of stuff is messed up. <laughs> Hopefully everything there you go. is up. Okay, I'm trying to bring the girls up. Let's see. Oh, me. What a ladies. Oh. You're sounding like a robot. Start. Can you hear me? Let's see. That's Sandy. Let's see here. Oh, this is great. Hey, guys, put in the chat if you can, <laughs> if, if I'm stuck. Can you hear me later on? Let's see. Hi, guys. Hey, Tasha. Hey, Sandy. What's up? Pretty girl, how are you? I'm good. Ladybug, what's up, baby? Where's she at? <laughs> I don't know, but I see her on the um <laughs> so we sound they say we sound okay. Ladybug, where'd you go? <laughs> And this is nasty. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah. She having a little technical. What's she smacking on, Tasha? Girl, these things nasty. It was on my dresser when I got home. One of oh, these Chinese fortune oh. cookie things. And it's yeah. nasty. Uh, yeah. Let me read what it says. You know, have that have the little um we say Vogue gonna hit uh 50 billion by <laughs> <laughs> It do say in dreams and in life, nothing is impossible. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm with that. Nothing's impossible. I know that's right. So hubby's able to see us. Let me see. Let me text her. How is everybody doing? Well, army. I don't know what's going on tonight, <laughs> but I'm here. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Sorry, guys. You made it back. It's all good. Oh, thanks for standing in the gap. Oh, my goodness. Nice what? snack in the house. Okay, now I got to re-hope. Uh, I got to send another whatever. But what's going on, ladies? What's up? It's ladies, mine. Where the music at? I don't know. One of y'all got it. One of y'all got some music. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, guys! 
I'm so freaking bullish right now on <laughs> everything that's going on. It is just freaking crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm mind blown for real. Wow. Hi, young snack. How you doing, sugar? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> doing fine. Hi, Sarah. I'm the O. I'm back. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Um, wow. Okay, we're waiting on Ian. Uh, so until he gets here, what's up, ladies? What's hey, going on? I'm at stage five bullish though. Stage yeah, we five bullish. bullish. Stage five bullish. Yeah. Oh, super <laughs> bullish. So what's stage five bullish? Let's see. Roadmap. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, in Votoshi, you know, he, he be teasing us, talking about, you know, like there's some surprises coming up that's not even on the roadmap. Yes, he did say that too. Mm -hmm. He's got everybody spinning with all of his yes. hints and clues and stuff. Okay, I gotta keep this just like this. Okay, okay, okay. So, of course, we got stage five up. And so, my question to you ladies would be, and we'll start with Sandy since she's at the top. Which one is your favorite? Mm. Well, a few, mm -hmm. a few. I'm definitely bullish on the, you know, 250K holders, the mm -hmm. um, 250K Twitter follower. I mean, 250K holders, you know what that means. You know right. I mean, I mean we, we, we reach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'll go straight to that. But like, you know, Vaulty saw Vaulty Echo, like, I mean, that has to be bullish because one thing I know, like Votoshi focused on, he focused on basically creating revenue and bringing it back to the project and bringing those revenues back is going to buy back our tokens, it's going to burn our tokens, you know what I mean? And I mean, basically, we, we, it's just going to help us continue to grow. So whatever those are, I know some kind of way outside of all the bullish thing that's going to surround them is going to bring more money back into the project and it's going to help us grow. Gonna buy some tokens, gonna mm -hmm. some more tokens. So, because it's just creating more and more ways to become, you know, high, mm -hmm. even more hyper deflationary than it already is. So, so I'm totally bullish on those. Um, and I don't know what Vaulty Shop is gonna be. I'm really curious, and I feel like um, what he said on the Telegram chat earlier might. You know, might have been hinting toward that, but then he said, you know, whatever he was hinting towards, it ain't even on the roadmap. So, you know, we just have to see. You know, he likes to play with our emotions sometimes. Oh, it ain't on the roadmap. That's what he said. He said he ain't even on the roadmap. He's probably got it's like funny. all sorts of surprises he's going to drop. And, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. What about y'all? What are, what are, what are y'all? Young Snack. Young Snack, you're next. Young Snack. I'm curious what Volti Soft is because it like it reminds mm -hmm. me of like a gaming company that is like on the tip of my tongue, but I can't figure it out. Is it is it a gaming company? Is that what that's gonna be? You talking about the gamification? Well, mm -hmm. what is Volti Soft? Oh, that's the uh, it's Volti Soft and Volti Eco or is it's like Microsoft, you know, oh. the ecosystem. So yeah, the uh, like, this will be in, in the, uh, hmm. Well, that's interesting. I thought uh, it was like like a gaming company. I'm not gonna lie, it was Ubisoft that I'm thinking. I was gonna about. say I'm like Ubisoft. Like, I kept yeah, like, Ubisoft. Like, like, like that's what it was. So like, Ubisoft. Didn't they do Assassin's Creed? Yes. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I had um he like Sandy said he was hinting around in the in the chat earlier today and I had said along the lines of like a software and infrastructure as a service for Voltisoft and he said there's two options so you're half right so I don't know what I have no idea what that means. <laughs> you're you're muted, Ladybug. Yep. There you go. Wow. So Oh, you got a delay now. You're I said, muted. wow, my yeah. internet's you know acting funny, so I'm trying to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug, oh. we can't hear you. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. It's super delayed. <laughs> 
It's like an old uh, martial arts movie. That's it. It caught up a little bit. You know. <laughs> hey guys, I was already having moments already. Please don't mess with me right now at the Bob Internet. Is it is it okay right now? Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, it's you're pretty good. good. It's not 100% synced, but you're pretty good. It's all right. Okay. All right. Tasha, you're up. What do okay. you think, Tasha? I'm excited about the bridge. I have no clue. I think that's going to be super bullish. I'm excited about, like um, Sandy was saying, shoot, everything Sandy said, it was like, wow, she must have been in my head. But the 250 holders, like, you know how much money that's going to bring to our project? OMG. And the Twitter followers, um, Voti Sauce, I'm super excited about that. Um, was, I didn't hear um, Kira was saying something about um, the software update. So that was something um, new for me. But um, the 250 um, K uh, holders, that's the biggie for me. Oh, and the physical card. You know I sat down and read everything. But the physical card, too? Oh, my God. Well, we probably could be able to use our cards, just like the crypto.com card or whatever. Man, that's going to be dope to have a vote card that we can use and buy things. So, super excited if that's what he's talking about, that physical card. So Nice. Yeah, I'm super pumped, though. It's a lot on there. But that bridge, anybody got an idea pretty much what that is? Like, I just, I'm just super, super curious about a bridge. Either a bridge to another chain or a cross bridge between the two. I think it's to another chain. I like Polygon, they had already hinted around to that yeah. in the Don't beginning. Go anyway. to Cardano. I'm plugging it right now. <laughs> what you said? It? What, what, you what need to go to Cardano. Cardano? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Like, Y'all have a community, and like that is literally what Cardano is all about is community. You would nice. thrive. I'm just saying. Okay. I think okay. any of them would be bullish, but yeah, those two probably. Oh, look, we're getting a full house here. Well, we need, we need the main guest, though. <laughs> we're filling up. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead on and bring in Miss NZ. What's up, girl? Hey, ladies. Hello. What up, Ian? Hello, what's up? How are y'all? We bullish on stage five. Everything bullish. bullish. Yes. Everything I'm bullish late. on there, I'm though. sorry. <laughs> so I guess it's up to you, man. Uh, She's here, girl. She's frozen again. I don't know. I So I think... Um, you know, the, the 250 holders, I think. Oh, are, we, are you back? Okay, I'm, I'm not talking until my internet's right because I know I got a delay. <laughs> no, I think if you do yeah. all of the other things, that 250 holders will just come naturally. So while I think that's bullish, I think focusing on the other things would, would lead to holders to come in. And I think the focus off of OT equal will bring in more like investment type, um, in, like, institutional type money so you guys think we'll reach that 250k holder this year absolutely i think all of that i think that's like the first quarter the way voltage change is going i think it's more than possible because voltage change is just like exposing us to everybody in the space so especially when when it gets caught up and caught on to everybody, I think it's, you know, game over. I agree. So I have a question about that million dollar burn. Yeah. Is it a million dollars worth of Volt tokens that he's going to be burning or he's just going to like buy in and burn? That's pretty much the same thing. I've said the same thing. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a buyback and burn, probably a matching in some capacity, so... Yeah, yeah I'm curious to see the uh, price impact on that because that's that's a big chunk. Oh, yeah. a big and I think he's still in 500 on the BNB side and East side, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, and it's I think he's mentioning mm -hmm. one to one, so, so I think it's like more like well, it's really gonna be like two million dollars actually. Okay. All right, Space Chick is back, so we're gonna bring Space Chick up. Hey, Space Chick. Ooh. What's up, Space Chick? Hey, everybody. Hey. 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 Hey.
when you was on a Latina. I, I was like, man, she's looking too hot. She's going on a date. And sure enough, she was like, okay, guys, I'm not going to say hi. <laughs> she was. Mm -hmm. Nosy mind wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> This is not talking. <laughs> okay. Space Tick, what's your favorite on the stage five list? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's all of it. But I'm really liking the the tiers right now, the top tiers. And I think mm -hmm. that for for like the pump, but for like the longevity of it, I'm thinking more of mm, I like the widget. I just feel like that's what's going to get us there to the holder count and everything. Like that plugs it all in. So that's what I think. That's what's going to help is that widget. Yeah. I like that poll that's going around. The one that's like Uniswap, um, Volte Change, or, or what's the other one? Pancake Swap. Pancake swap. Mm -hmm. I like that poll. There's a poll. See, I'm missing all this. <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, uh, Crypto Journey put it out. Hold on, let me pull it up for you. Hold on. I just know I got a delay, so I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to like, oh my gosh. You don't have a delay anymore. You're good. Let me look at this phase five. What is y'all's favorite with phase five? Did y'all just go over that? What y'all's favorites, favorites were on phase yeah. five? Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, y'all know the competition that Voltoshi had and she won? Mm -hmm. I think that was brilliant. Yeah. You know? Agreed. Yeah, the trading competition? Yeah. yeah. I think we need more of those. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, she delayed it. Uh oh. What? Jessica, I'm trying to. I'm watching the chat, and Ozzy's like, "Get your passports ready for next VDESC event. Might be international." Ooh, I am down. I'm there. Is that, is I got a passport, so I'm good. Are you hinting something? Uh -oh, somebody I was in a, somebody was in um Latina's channel this morning hinting at Germany, so maybe. <laughs> mm. Mm. Could that be Shay? <laughs> He's vaulting everything. Okay, guys. Have... Okay. Damn, Panama in April. Mm, Panama. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can hear you. We hear you. Okay, because I'm having moments over here. My computer is doing everything. Like, it's slowing down. It's stopping. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're too vaulted. That's what everybody always says. You're too vaulted. Okay. <laughs> too much. Too much uh... <laughs> I'm over. Y'all don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm like, oh, my God. What's going on? Too, too many okay. ladies vaulted in this channel for your internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Here. All right, so Kira or somebody can issues. take over till something happens over here because right now it's really bad. Yeah. All right. So we were talking about what we were talking about. You were going to pull up the competition. Oh, no, no. Your po it was Rodney's post, right? It was doing the poll. We were doing the. Um, I don't know if I can present. She might have to authorize me to present, but um, there was a poll going out about Uniswap. Pancake swap and Volte chain, and which one was your favorite? And you're right, I think that's a great idea because it actually gets out the uh, people are aware. Wait, there's more than two, <laughs> right? Right, and so. it compares them with something big like Uniswap and Pancake Swap. Right, that's that's a really good awareness campaign right there. And then, mm -hmm. um, what else? What else is going on? The trading competition. So I, I'm curious to see, are we getting no trading? Company? No, the one you said that ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, have we seen a lot? I'm curious to know what the volume is since then for ship. Yeah. Like, have they come over and used it? Or, I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. And how many people, like how many projects do we have on, um like that edit the widget to their website now? Is I it 34? I think we're at 34. 34. 34. Okay. Yeah. yeah, really, it's only the 19th, so. 
I know. And we have what a, a goal of a hundred. When do you think we'll hit that? We were talking about that the other day, NZ, right? We thought it was going to be like, yes, like a hundred, one fifty yeah. by the end. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's really a by the end of what? February. By the end of what? January. I'm sorry. <laughs> by the end of the year. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. What do you think, Sandy? Wait, I didn't hear you the last the last part. By February, these yeah, ladies we... say, wait, 100, right? Oh, no, nah, we gotta surpass that. But I think I think pro we probably should have at least 300 by the end of February. You know, FC said I don't know how things are spreading. It starts spreading like wildfire. So then it's no longer gonna just be like a one-off, you know anymore it's gonna be it's gonna start to double and then triple plus you know it only makes sense it's a no brainer yeah. it's a no brainer with all the golf said 100, 100 is good <laughs> yeah golf god 100 is good a thousand incoming look at golf god yes, i was like wow thousand by the end of the summer yeah not before yeah, with all these like awareness campaigns around like AMAs and Twitter spaces, like you just like how many people there was one the one here's today. The other, here's I was, I'm sorry. Um no, here's the other brilliant thing too. And then with Pablo, anyone there, the marketing, you know, the exposure to um our entire army and even more people, and you have all I mean there's like twenty two thousand projects, and a lot of them you know, they're building it. You know, do not underestimate the small project or the new projects because they can really grow in this project, especially when they're launching. They need that exposure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, it, it's just a no brainer all the way around. So, I mean, 22,000 projects. It, I mean, hell, probably like at least 5,000 of them. We should get, mm. it, get at least 5,000 this year. I can, you know, you know, know Ozzy's saying 100 and already in the bag. I think we should send Sandy out there to just like go to each. I know she's a good saleswoman, <laughs> right? Y'all, y'all see that? I, I sales houses, guys. These houses. are realtors. It's <laughs> gonna sell you. Hey guys, uh, we got attic in the in the uh, cabins. Uh, not in the cabin. Ooh, space chick. Mm. We got attic <laughs> in the lounge. <laughs> Come on, attic. <laughs> what you been sipping on, girl? <laughs> Your tequila. Hey, how you guys doing? Hello. Hello, Addict. How are you doing? Hello. Welcome to the channel. Hello. Hey, Addict. Thank you, thank you. Let me go ahead and switch the screen. Did you upgrade, Ladybug? You can have, you can have more people in this room huh. now? So, I didn't know if you uh, upgraded so you could have... Yeah. I, <laughs> you can only have 10 and you can have I, I 10 things upgrade that a little bit. No. <laughs> Backstage. It's, even if you buy it pro, $200 still backstage it's you gotta be careful lady bug what the you're gonna have to if ian comes in you're gonna have oh to. no I'm, you know i'm paying attention <laughs> i'm paying attention to the number i'm paying attention i'm just reading these tweets well, i'm now. just trying They're to uh tweets. these are cool huh like the vault i'm i'm reading the vault inu tweets like pretty much for for since earlier and these are good ones the last one that he put up 39 minutes ago Vault Eco or Vaulty Soft, and it has it like forking in the road. Yeah. So, I mean, what does that mean? So, and what do you think? Um, which exchanges y'all think those three tier ones are going to be? KuCoin, one of them. Yeah. Has to be. Has to be. That's like this, like, like the jumping point for like tokens in our playing field is like KuCoin. I would say and then Coinbase. KuCoin. Ku is KuCoin Ku is what? Number what? For ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, NZ, were you saying something? No. Oh, I thought you were guessing. What's your guess? You said Coinbase. Yeah, well, honestly, you remember, Kira, I was telling y'all yeah. um, how Ozzy, or I don't know who it was, but they were saying that um, it had something to do regarding that email, that anonymous email that. Yeah. Well, Toshi sent out, and that anonymous email was read by Power to Pablo, which made Pablo cry because it might be Crow, right? So it's oh. just my theory. Maybe I'm I'm spinning a little bit too much, but 
No, oh, wow. I think you're on target. <laughs> I think you're on target, Inzi. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope it's Crow, but Crow is not top 10, though. That's the only thing, because didn't he say, like, top 10 on the map? Mm -hmm. Three yeah, top, top three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I mean, you know, Voltosha got a lot of surprises in his bag, so who knows? But I'm really hoping Crow because my Crow card is coming, y'all. Oh, <laughs> yes, I have, a, I have a Crow card as well. I'm like, yo, that would be so, so, because you yeah. can actually, yeah, transfer it right into your account. It's easy oh. and it's accessible, you know what I mean? Yeah. Easy. You just top yeah. it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah. I just paid for my um my dinner last night with my crow card. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. a good wow. feeling. I'm emotional about getting my crow card because it was like denied <laughs> for a while, and then so I had I literally went through this whole thing the other day. I had to stand on a picture of my social security card. I had to stand on a picture of my ID, a picture of statement with my address on there. You know what I mean? And you know, the thing is actually, the I, I went on the chat, I found the support, and I honestly, I hadn't done it for like the whole year because I'm thinking these people never actually respond. And I was shocked. They got back to me right away, and then I sent the information in, and just like literally within minutes, they had me approved. I was like, oh, it's not. That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Hey, we have have OKC, right, y'all? That OKC, we can get our like that that um, debit card. We can load it right on OKC. Yeah, OKC. Yeah. KYC. Mm -hmm. KYC. You said KFC. <laughs> oh my God! Who said KFC? That card. Space. You hungry, girl? KFC card. Ozzy's sitting here in the chat teasing us with stuff. Mm hmm You know. Ozzy, you green tea bullish tonight. Everyone focused on Crow and forgetting the big picture, bigger picture. Well, Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us in the chat, King Ozzy. Yeah. Hey, why don't you give us a hint? What should we be focusing on? Yeah, give us some hints. There we go. Come on, Ozzy. You can use the OKSC at KFC, he says. <laughs> Take some more green tea shots. Yeah. That's what you got to do. Yeah, that's it. He loosened those green lips up a little bit. Bullies. Yeah, you will. <laughs> so what's going on? What else is going on? Ladybug, are you, you there? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, I see you. Oh, I'm super cool. Look. Oh. Okay, hopefully the internet here. does. I think it's here. Oh, I think Ian's here. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm reading King Ozzy's. I'm like, oh my god. I said, okay. All right, guys, Ian is here. So we're going to bring him on. Drum roll. Then freaking let's go. Ian Bullish. Drum roll. Hey. What is Ian up, everyone? Yeah. We get a full uh, house. Did I hear my drum roll? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I just uh, finished practice, got home a little bit later, so I apologize. But uh, how's everyone doing? We're doing awesome. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm out here in Denver, Colorado, training for a fight. Looking for gems, uh, you know, supporting my communities and uh, yeah, enjoying life. How about you guys? We're, yeah. we're spinning we're a lot of, yeah, we're spinning we're a lot of this stuff for uh, <laughs> yeah. phase five. Really? Spinning. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, we were talking about uh, when we started uh, uh, stage five, what part of stage five is your favorite? Um, it was just cool today. We were talking with a project, uh, Kingdom. I don't know if you guys heard of them, but um, basically, uh -oh. am I have... frozen? No, no, you good? Can you okay, guys hear me? okay, yeah, we can hear. You. Okay, yeah. So I was uh, I was talking with a project on a space today uh, called Kingdom, and this this project is doing crazy uh, buyback and burns, and they're buying up five percent of the supply for stakers. And we asked them, we said, "Hey, are you guys using Volti Change?" Because they added the widget to their website. And 5% of their supply is somewhere around $100,000. And 
And it's just, uh, it was cool. We had a big space today and I'm so excited for, you know, the stop losses, um, you know, the limit orders that you're going to be able to use on Volte change, just because we know crypto never sleeps crypto. You wake up in the morning and sometimes you're like, yo, I'm, I'm up five X or you wake up and there's a dip that you missed right. because someone sold. Yeah. And that's just so cool. That Volte change, you can lock in all your levels, whether okay. you want to buy the dip, you want to take it some me profit. or is he not talking? You and Ladybug. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. He's talking, okay. Ladybug. He's talking. Oh. <laughs> can most you can most everyone hear me or we can hear no, okay. we can hear you. Sure I'm I'm like, okay. Bob Bullish. So, <laughs> so that's, I think I think Kingdom was it went there on um the AMA with Pablo the other night with all the other project. I think that guy came on there, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So they've it's just cool to see all these projects adding Volte change. Like I hope Volte change takes over um Uniswap. You know, it's it has all the ingredients with those limit orders coming out. It has your preferred trades with the uh, the gas saves, so you don't even have to mess with all that. It has the trending, and also it's going to bring in revenue for um, it's going to bring revenue for Volt Inu because they're going to be able to do ads on that, which is going to keep the marketing machine rolling. And um, I mean, that's what I'm just like recently. If you ask me right now, that's the most thing I'm excited for. Obviously, the million dollar buy and burn when we hit all time high, that is going to be absolutely epic. But um, there's a lot going on uh, for Volt Inu 2023. I'm excited. So much going yeah. on. Phase uh, stage five dropping, all sorts of stuff. So, absolutely. okay, guys, I have a real internet issue tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's real tonight. But uh, one of the questions, one of the ones that I really, uh, before we even got into that, what I wanted to start off was, everybody doesn't know your story, but I wanted you to share your story if possible, you know, a little bit of it and how you got into crypto and both. Yeah, absolutely. I'll give you guys like the super short version just because of time. Um, but, you know, I'm a, I was a kid. I grew up in Denver, moved to Parker, small town out here, just a wrestler, athlete, um, you know, but had crazy energy, got taken to the doctor because I was getting in trouble, getting kicked out of school. They gave me Adderall and I come from a long line of addiction in my family on my mom's side or on my dad's side, my cousins, my uncles still dealing with addiction problem. So instantly hooked, drinking drugs, even through all the, the party. And I did, I was still a two time state champ wrestler. And um, eventually, though, my senior year, I got kicked out of high school, just a habitual offender getting in trouble. And then um you know, I, I just ran the streets and ended up getting in trouble for some drug trafficking. I got caught with a few thousand pills of ecstasy in Colorado. I got deported from Canada. And then I, instead of going to jail, I decided to flee the country. And I hopped on a plane with about two, $2,000 in my pocket, JFK to Amsterdam with about uh, not knowing anyone and a small amount of money. And I made my way all the way around until I finally made my way to the Canary Islands, Spain. And I found myself working at a club, getting paid in drinks, like eight drinks when I work, four drinks when I get off. And, you know, I full blown alcoholic, homeless, like rock bottom, full rock bottom. And I met this Colombian guy who uh, took me in like family. And then um, I started to get sober. But the dad sat me down. He said, hey, gringo, let's go make some real money. And I was like, yeah, I had nothing going on. So we started taking trips down to Colombia, Venezuela, Aruba. And we were trafficking coke. We were swallowing kilos, bringing it back. And uh, mm -hmm. after like 14 trips, I got busted. I got locked up. And uh, I, I got a three and a half year sentence. And God started really working in my life. I got sober. They had a wrestling program. They had a kickboxing program. It was like always on my heart. I was going to be in the UFC. And uh, basically, I did my time. I got back to the States. Spent some time in Rikers Island because I had felony warrants right when I got picked yeah. up. And then I got uh, extradited back to Colorado, 2014 Valentine's Day, posted bail. And uh, I was a free man. Four years later, I was uh, I was in the UFC. Um, I broke into the top 10. I was ranked number nine in the world. And, uh, and then I took a few losses, had some health issues with a thyroid, some autoimmune disorders, some stomach stuff, probably from the abuse I put myself through. And... Um, and then I had a habitual concussion. So I was out of fighting. I thought I was going to be done fighting. And, um, you know, I'm still top 20 in the world. 
And this is when I found crypto. I found the AMC. Well, first it was GME GameStop and that ran up and I was like, wow. And then I put like 10K in AMC and it did like a 6X. And I was like, oh, those are gains. But then I saw the manipulation. They were halting the stock, doing all this wild stuff. And then I realized uh, I put money in Doge and Ethereum Classic. And I was like, wow, crypto can't be stopped. It's like not is controlled. And there's some real money. You can get 10x, 100x, 1000x, like all the time. And the stock market's boring. And so I jumped into crypto and I found uh, Mandox. I found Marshall Inu, which was supporting fighters. And I found Volt Inu. And uh, Marshall Inu paid for two treatments for me to get stem cells down in Mexico. And, um, and I met Jake Gagan and all this. And he introduced me to Volt Inu. And it was one of the strongest communities I ever had. Like my platform is hugely built because of volt inu just because of the the passion the community has for the project for everyone else in the community it's not like like you, you feel like family when you're in the volt army and um so yeah and then i started to just fully dive into the crypto because i had some time off and now i'm healed up healthy and i'm making my return and uh you know obviously i'm 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 in love with the crypto. It's that high risk, high reward rush that kind of fighting kind of drug trafficking gives you everything in my life has been like. And um, so I'm just I'm just out here searching for gems, supporting my community, you know, promoting Volt Inu because I know that's going to be a top 10 coin by the end of this year, you mm -hmm. know, in my opinion. And um, yeah, and I'm going to look to go beat someone up in a couple months. So <laughs> life's good. Let's go. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> when movie, sir. Yeah, it was a great story. <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. Uh, do you want to hit on Gilbert real quick? You want to touch on what he's doing? Have you? I know you wanted to hit on him in Brazil. Yeah. yeah. So everyone in the Volt Army, please tune in this weekend. I know it's a pay per view. You got to bootleg it. You got to do what you got to do. But tune in to my guy Gilbert Burns because he is number five in the world. He's a training partner of mine, good friend. Uh, me, Jake Gagan, and him, we linked up, and uh, Gilbert is supporting the Volt Army. He's looking to Volt his opponent, which is actually a friend of mine. So, you know, no hate, but Gilbert is part of the Volt Army, so, you know, I, I might be rooting for him. And, uh, you know, hopefully he uh, gets in there, and his after-fight speech says, I Volted him. I'm very confident in that fight. But it would just be cool for the Volt Army to show up because our community is so big. And don't think that Dana White and the UFC aren't watching those numbers. And if we see that big spike and then the whole Volt Army's tweeting about him and then he hits his after fight speech and says, I vaulted my opponent, um, it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic for the Volt Army. It's going to be a big win. I honestly think he's going to be UFC champ within the next year. So it would be awesome to have the first UFC vaulted uh, sponsored athlete. And hopefully I'll be the second. And that's what I'm working for. And uh, I just... Hope everyone in the Volt Army, and I know they will, go out, show some love to Gilbert, show, send him a tweet, and uh, give him that support because he's going to put on a show. Awesome. Do you know what time in, uh, the fight is? Um, so we'll it is it in Brazil. Yeah, let me look it up real quick. We can, we can look it up, too. Yeah, I'm jealous. Jake Gagan's down there <laughs> in Brazil. I'm like, bro, <laughs> if I wasn't getting ready for this fight, I would be down there as well. But um, And Brazil is like a place you need to go to for like, you can do like 10 days down there. Really adventure. Uh, let me look on their website. It's not posted on their Instagram yet. Let's see. Let's no, see. but we know the Volt Army is going to turn out in force for that, right? So it's, uh, we Absolutely. wouldn't miss it for, we wouldn't miss it for anything. That's right. Okay. That's so fine. Gilbert is the featured bout, which means there's, He's the third from the last fight. And the prelims start at 4 p.m. Uh, so he's main card 8 p.m. I believe that's Eastern. So it's 8 p.m. Eastern um, when it starts. So Gilbert will be probably fighting around 9 to 10 Eastern. So okay. if you guys can tune in into that, it's going to be a good card. They really stacked uh, the main card. So if you guys are going to tune in, you might as well watch the card. But make sure you don't miss Gilbert Darino Burns uh put a performance on because i've been watching that guy train and he's ready to vault this dude 100 nice. percent. that's awesome yeah how awesome is that how awesome is that i also um i want to if anybody's got questions because you know i brought you on to ask questions so. i just think your story is just really really 
really truly amazing. I mean, was there any point like I mean, what was what was your thought process like leaving that life being in it? Did you think you were gonna make it out? Like, what did you think? Um, you know, it, it was like in the beginning when I was just running around, it was truly chasing an addiction. Like I was just, I was trying to have money and I was trying to, I was just like, it's it kind of sounds stupid, but like, I just never wanted the party to end. And I was just, and I was just so caught up in the world of just like make fast money and, and going to parties and just blowing money at clubs and doing a lot of drugs. And, um, I didn't, I got to the point when I was at rock bottom, I didn't care about my life. Obviously for me to volunteer to go to Colombia and swallow, you know, balls of drugs like that. Um, you know, I wasn't, I didn't have much value on my life, but once I got locked up, I had an epiphany moment. I was looking in the mirror one night. I couldn't sleep at like 3 AM and I just like screamed no. And I probably scared my cellmate or whatever, but I was just like, I was just like, I'm not like these guys. And I felt God was putting on my heart. Like you're going to be in the UFC. You're going to be UFC champ. And uh, I would beat guys up in training because they had like a full you could train there like prison in Europe is different than prison in the States. Prison in the States is like crime school and prison over in Europe. You know, they will reform you. I learned Spanish Yo hablo Espanol, and I got to go to church. I got to uh, do a wrestling program. I got to uh, start an MMA class. So it was like there was things for me to do and really reform me. And I was like, I felt it like I was like, when I get out, I 100 percent believe I was going to get in the UFC and I was going to get that belt. And, you know, I'm still fighting for that because right now I could just fully dive into crypto. It's been like I've like been sitting at the fork in the road, like just fully going to crypto and like don't abuse your body anymore. You've taken some bad concussions and just a partially torn labor and fractured wrist, just just injuries, you know. And but I'm like, man, I feel like God still has a purpose. He called me to this. I'm going to keep doing it. You know, obviously the movie's going to come out, the book and um I feel like I want to be an inspiration because I, I don't feel like I had a mentor ever. Um, so I hope I could be the mentor for some people. And my end goal is to open up like a halfway house slash, um, you know, rehab for kids that get big sentences, but they don't have a fam, uh, like a family or a father figure or any guidance. So instead of them doing five years in crime school, which is the prison system, they go to this halfway house, we train them, we, we, you know, put them in church. We, we bring, we, you know, give them faith and opportunity and we work them so hard that they're so tired. They don't want to get in trouble. And I honestly believe first off, it can change lives. And second off, I believe the gym will produce champions. I want to say this, you bled, uh, when I started, when I started following your channel, um, you really blessed me because every morning you wake up, you give God his praise. I'm going to say that this is sad bar, but it's real. And so for me, you know, that is so super. I mean, I just, I love that. And so, um, and I'm getting all teary choked up just saying it, but it blesses me to know that even in this, in this crypto space, there are people that still, you know, honor God and honor him in the position that you've gotten to and it's been because of him so but that was just a sidebar but i did want to say that uh you bless me every morning so that's why i'm on your page liking everything so <laughs> yeah well god blesses us all every morning that we open our eyes and get to see another day so um you know i every day is a bonus day when like when i went through what i went through i just feel blessed to be here like blessed to be able to perform at the highest level, blessed to be in communities and all these in the Volt Army and, you know, be doing my thing on Twitter and, and YouTube because I enjoy it and uh, it's fun. So I, I truly believe it's, you know, God has a plan for each and every one of our lives and um, I'm walking my destiny. So it feels good. Uh, what would you I like, like to, sorry, um, what would you like to be remembered for at the end of your career? Um, you know, I, just like my life has just been kind of unique as far as like how much trouble I've gotten in and how many close situations I survived. Like if we really went my story, we would be here for a couple hours. And, uh, you know, there was some times where it was like, it was like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going to die tonight. And then some miracle came and saved me. So, um, I believe God has put me through these troubles to have a very powerful testimony. And, um, I speak at schools. I speak at like football teams. I speak at wrestling teams. I speak at rehabs, halfway houses. And I just, uh, I want to be an inspiration to people that, 
you know, you're not too far gone. You're not too young. You're not too old. You're not this. You're not that. Uh, because if God has called you to that, there's nothing that can stop you. And especially, I mean, you you have to walk that. You have to put that work in. So, I, I mean, I just want to be – I want people to see my story of redemption. And I want people to remember that, um, you know, they're not too far gone to change their lives. Because I was rock bottom in a foreign prison cell at 26 years old to being top 10 in the UFC at age 29. Um, you know, and and that's – if I can do that, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm special. So I feel like anybody can do something and make that radical change. And everyone told me you're too old now. You're too far gone. You've done too many drugs. There was so many haters and I just silenced it. I, I, I listened to what's above what was calling to me. And, um, and I, I worked hard. I worked my ass off and I got where I'm at and I'm looking to go further. So that's kind of my thing. A, a story of redemption. I want people to feel like they can redeem themselves. In, in that's short. amazing that's beautiful what you said just remind me of um you know what they say god um god don't qualify the, god don't call the qualified god qualified the called amen you know? so yeah it's just it's just it meant it's, it's it in your story it seemed like it almost seemed like the you being deported was like a blessing in disguise you know because it Landed you in that, um, I guess, prison or jail that was able to, you know, got you sober, introduce you to God, and you know, you got your life back. Yeah. Out of that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's another thing. Like when I got locked up, and I was looking at uh, three to six years, I was my mind at that time was that was the worst possible thing that could happen. Absolutely the worst thing. I was so like crushed by it but when you look back at a situation like that that was the absolute best thing that could have ever happened to me because I, who knows where i would be right now dead or um who knows and so if people are going through something sometimes it feels like this is the worst thing but look for the growth look for the 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 purpose of that and and maybe you know maybe it is the best thing that could ever happen to you so it's just a different perspective and you're absolutely right that was I don't know what I would have done. It, I needed to go to the military or prison. Like, like I was just wild like that. Like I needed that discipline and structure. Yeah. Did you uh, continue to fight while you was uh, or train while you were doing all that? Um, so, like I said, I was, you know, I was a few time state champ. I was a few time national champ, all American. Like I had the skills. I got a full ride scholarship to Northern Idaho. Um, I had a full ride scholarship to Boston University, but of course, a uh, kid who gets expelled his senior year, they're not, you're not getting into D1 on a scholarship. Um, so after that wrestling, I kind of just like decided to just put in like in the gym, like bodybuilder style, just I would oh, hit the gym okay. regularly. And then I started to get back in a little bit of jujitsu, a little bit of fighting, but because of the partying, the drug use, it was never right, nothing right. consistent, you know, right. and, and yeah. that's what really grasped me in because I was like, I'm stuck in here. I can either go and do drugs and play poker with these guys and, and not do anything. Or I could, and this was my mantra every day. Did you train your mind? Did you train your body? And did you train your spirit? I never read books. I started reading books. Obviously I read the Bible. I read all these other books. I trained my body every single day to become a weapon that I knew I was going to use to get me out of my situation when I got in the UFC. And I trained spiritually, man. I was I was praying. I was reading the Bible. I was um, going to church every weekend in prison. So um, I feel like I bring that mentality out here. Are you training your mind, body, and spirit every single day? Because that's where the growth is. And you can't neglect one of those. You gotta you you gotta train every single one of those aspects because uh, you need them. To, it comes together, um, and you, something will fall off if you don't if you neglect one. Yeah. That's true, yeah. yeah. Has crypto opened any doors for you to go down the path of like some of the work you want to do going forward? Like, you know, connections with, you know, halfway houses, you know, things like that with, with charitable type of things. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's cool because crypto, when I look at crypto, I feel like it's peer to peer transaction. We take away the bankers. We take away the corruption. We can just, Hey, and eventually the future is going to be, hey, and obviously there will be regulation. It's going to be a battle. We'll see where it goes. But 
I could buy your boat or your car, send you ETH, send you Bitcoin, whatever it may, send you USDC, a stable coin, and you could send me the title over in an NFT. Boom, it's in my wallet. Bam, just like that. And I wouldn't have to go through this third party. And I've always looked at crypto like it can do something to change the world. And I do believe um, it's it's connected me with some lifelong friends like B-Roots and Jake Gagan and uh, Mando, some other people that I've met in this space. And I love and, and, and Voltoshi, if you're listening, let's get a Volt Inu meetup because it's so cool seeing your guys' faces. I'm, I'm so sick of looking at uh, Twitter profiles. I love being on there and everyone's <laughs> – but, like, when you meet up in person, I've done it for Hex. I've done it for Marshall Inu. That's obviously where I met. And uh, I've done it for the Bitcoin conference. And it's so cool to put a name, a personality, a face on this Twitter profile you've been talking to for the past – years you know what i'm saying and uh that's what's cool seeing you guys' faces and um so voltoshi you should do that going back to your question i got way off track but um i believe crypto can definitely open doors financially for me to be able to do this and i think i can get a lot of people behind it and or a crypto project behind when i make that move obviously it's going to have to be after fighting because i don't have time right now but once fighting's done uh, that's my goal is to open that halfway house and get, get them going and start saving the youth because there's so much talent that dies in prison. And I've seen it for myself and I don't want to see that, you know, I want to give them a second chance. Meet up in Vegas. Let's do it. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. Batoshi. I hope you're listening. <laughs> I know Ozzy was on. Let's We're going to pull up. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get you guys to come out of Colorado. Like, what do you mean, Vegas? Right, she wanna go where it's oh, freezing. No. You wanna go where it's warm. You're in Colorado? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, I'm in Westminster right now. Nice. So yeah. Yeah. But um, no, it would be cool. We need to we need to have a Volt Inu uh get together. We need to have a we need to have a celebration. When this thing, we should be we should all plan it out. When when Volt Inu hits a certain market cap, we're all going to Vegas, we're going to Florida. We're going to somewhere cool and we should all meet up and just celebrate what Volt has done and the community we are and get to meet each other in person. I'm 100% behind that and I will go wherever that's at. Nice. Uh, well, Toshi. Awesome. Toshi, I'll, I'm, I'm going to get on a plane you. anytime. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it'll be awesome. I got a passport. We can go across. I don't care. We, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> period. Let's go to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, somebody next. Next. So we who will be fighting? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's not even crypto related. So you can go. <laughs> oh, you're fine. This is Tasha. Nice to meet you, and super excited, super bullish to have you here. Um, your story is amazing. Wow. I mean, I'm sure it's touched everybody that's on this platform and listening. Um. I'm kind of going to throw it off a little bit with the stage five. I'm sure you've seen that. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you super bullish about? I know all of it, but give me one or two things that you're super bullish about. Absolutely. Let me pull it up right here. Um, definitely. Obviously the bridge on Volte change. Like I just, I just think Volte change. I think it's time for a new swap. And I think Volte Change is doing everything that the consumer wants. It's really hard to get people to break their old habits because they've been doing it for years. But um, I think Volte Change is bullish, especially how Voltoshi's marketing it. Hey, add the widgets to your website and we'll give you a tweet. So you're getting uh, a swap mm -hmm. that's not only going to burn Volt, it's going to burn the token that's being swapped. And it's going to they're going to get some free marketing. They're going to get a tweet about it um so volte change is one of the things i'm most bullish on as well as obviously uh there's going to be some more centralized exchanges coming up and we're already on gate.io so that's one top 10 and um uh, i just think voltoshi was very smart how he waited he's like let's not just jump on these centralized exchanges we have the whole ftx fiasco we have other centralized exchanges that are kind of rocky imagine him putting liquidity on there and them going under that wouldn't be bullish for volt inu so voltoshi uh the smart man that he is or woman whoever he is uh, <laughs> he uh he said let me wait let things calm down let things get bullish let the right. you know the stability of the centralized exchanges he's going to get us on uh get volt inu on you know another three centralized exchanges so that'll be bullish yeah. And then, obviously, the most bullish thing of them all, when we hit all-time high, 
a one million dollar bird. I mean, have you seen that? Like that? That's insane. That's what I'm waiting on. What do you, what do you think Volti Soft is? Volti Soft. <laughs> Good question. Know. That's what I asked this morning too. I was trying to guess Volti change for like a while, and I was like, "Yeah, probably a swap." But Volti Soft, uh, it could be some software. You know, obviously, um, the last message that Voltoshi wrote out was just saying he wants to do something for you know the bankers. He wants to do something for like the hedge fund mm -hmm. people, some mm -hmm. the the big money that would come in and say, "Hey, this is a coin we want to get behind." They have a utility that we would use. And it's proven and it's and it's a you know a safe coin because let's be real like we don't want regulation but if institutional money starts flowing into a project that's real money that's gonna pump all of our bags and because we're in before mm -hmm. them right uh, we yep. can dump on them no i'm just kidding but uh <laughs> <laughs> but usually they be dumping on us so it you know I think if Full Toshi can make something sexy enough, appealing enough, where where the institutional, we get some hedge fund people um, that say, hey, let's invest in this. And that would pump the coin into the billions of uh, market cap, which, you know, we know where it's going, in our opinion. So that's kind of the the things that really stand out to me. Obviously, Full is going to throw us a curveball. He always does. Yeah. And uh, so I'm just sitting back and letting it letting it do its thing. And let the times get bullish. Let that bottom finally be in, hopefully, mm -hmm. very soon. And uh, we'll be off to the races. Mm, exciting. Thank you. So you been involved from the beginning? Like, like, like from when it first started or? No, I got in Volt um, months, like three months before the migration. Okay. Or maybe, so, maybe yeah. four, three or four months before the migration. And, you know, back in those times, like I was pretty new in crypto and I have been involved in some sketchy migrations where I was like, this is bearish when he said it. And Jake was like, chill, bro. Like, it's going to be good. And I was just like, man, migrations like I, I got scammed in a migration. And usually when a migration, everyone dumps and they sell right away. And man, when he went from that V1 to V2, that thing just pumped. And like we were kind of in bearish times. And that thing just would not stop going. I, th I think that's right when Volt hit its all-time high. If uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was what around 280 million market cap. 250. 250. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, a quarter million after a migration, or a quarter billion after a migration to a V2. That we was. Go ahead. We would have kept going though if it wasn't for that freaking war stuff. Oh, I know. I, didn't, like, we would, I think we would have. I think we would have went a little Every time we're pumping, man, something happens, like, yeah. and just stops it from, you know, what I mean, going even further. Our time's coming though, because think oh, all this, all this bearish news that's been coming out, and you still got Volt Inu hitting half a billion dollar market cap. Can you imagine when it's just like bullish times when you can throw an ETH in any coin and it ten x's like nothing? Imagine what Volt Inu is going to be doing because, like, the hype's going to be there. The retail oh, yeah. we have such like, you know, for me, it's for coins. It's it's first, it's narrative, then marketing, then then community, and then utility. And Voltoshi has just been it. checking the boxes mm -hmm. like like none other. And let's be real, Volt, Volt Inu is is a marketing machine, and that's why I love that Volti Change yeah. is going to drop. The advertisements, the promotions, because that's just going to be more revenue coming in. That Volt or that Voltoshi just can continue just doing. I mean, you'll see Volt on freaking billboards driving by. You got every single YouTuber talking about them, you know. Yeah. And and a lot of people are just they just like the community. They're just there supporting the community. Shilling, you got influencers shilling, and uh, you got UFC fighters shilling, and uh, yeah. So I mean, so it's it's got it all. What do you think about uh, our latest billboard in California? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What do you think about That's that? Fire, man. That's fire. Can we can we pull that up? We gotta can we share that screen or yeah, I haven't seen this. What do you I say so, so if somebody fire. wants to share their screen, fire. let me know. I'll share your screen. Mine's is <laughs> glitchy because of my internet. So yeah, give me a second see. here. I saw it. Um it's supposed to be a spot too. I heard where a lot of traffic goes by. Orange County. Yeah, it's near Disney. It's right. It's it's yep. running with um. It's Disneyland in California in, in Orange County. Um, 
Latina and I were talking about this morning and an addict. Um, let me see. Let me find it. It's running with, um, it's like one of those big digital ones that's in a pretty big spot here. I got it here. It's scrolling down. You got it? Okay. It's just, yeah, and, and, like, and like, let's be real, like, <clears throat> you know, doing the banner like that or the, yeah. um, you know, you're, you might not have a bunch of people pulling over and buying Volt Inu because they see that, but that kind of marketing, you just, everywhere you go, you're just like Volt Inu, Volt Inu, Volt Inu. And then you get to the times in the, in the bull market, you know, the time when your grandma calls you and she yeah. says, what's this Shiba Inu? Yeah. Should I invest? <laughs> and you know, that's when you start selling. But, uh, you know, I feel like we're going to have that same situation with our second cousin calling you. Hey, what's this Volt Inu that I keep hearing about? I see it on the banner. People are talking about it in the news. It's pumping. They're on NASDAQ, all these different things. And uh, that's when we know we made it. That's when it's going to be a top <laughs> coin. And that's when, that's when things are just so bullish. People just can't get away from Volt. It's everywhere. And that's what Voltoshi's pushing for, and that's where he's transitioning to. Okay. You got uh, you ready to share? It? Are you ready to share? Damn, I just lost it. What the hell? Here, I got it. Hold on. Um, share screen. I think he's got a screen. He's got it on here down here. So just let me know whenever you're ready. Have y'all seen that movie with Will Smith? I think it's called Focus. I've oh, heard of it. it. Yeah. Um, well, they have like a scene where um, they're betting on a football game and he lets the woman, the, the girl that's with him, uh, bet on on the team. Something happened. And he's basically it. saying throughout the the movie, there was signs like literally signs like the number 30 here and there, here and there, right? So it's basically like a subliminal message. So when mm -hmm. it came to betting, they were like, oh, I'm going to let her do it because he already knows that she's been seeing this number. So she automatically thought, oh, let me uh, pick number 30. He's going to do that. So they bet on number 30 and number 30 was the winner, right? Mm -hmm. But it was just like a subliminal message. And I think that's what vote. That's gonna that, happen with both. That, that's what marketing is, you know. You I mean you you see the same commercial, you're not even paying attention, but it's talking about some protein bar, and then you're in the grocery store and you're like, Man, I need a protein bar, and then it just comes in your head and you buy that one and you don't even know why. So <laughs> you spend all your money <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> it's true. Oh, got some tabs open. Ooh. I saw a picture and a picture and a bit. That's, that's some, uh, what was that movie? <laughs> the, um, the Is one that me? Is that my screen? Yeah. <laughs> Is it? What the heck? I don't, I don't make noise. Let me share a different screen. I got I got multiple monitors, so I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, guys, what happened? I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. All right, there we go. So do I turn the volume, turn it up, or yeah. You should be able to do whatever you need to do. Y'all here? Go. Uh, it's kind of glitchy. On my side. No, that's the Not that's here? the um that's the quality. That's something oh, how okay. they've done the video. Yeah, uh, we can't hear it, but it's it's fine. It's that's legit. Yeah. You yeah. know there'd be traffic in California. People would be like, "What's Volti change?" Yeah, I'm gonna it's, Google that. <laughs> it's in Orange County, and it's by Disneyland. It's on Interstate Five Freeway by the Disneyland exits. It's the largest digital allowed in California, 1,200 square feet. Let's go. Wow. That's so You're cool. Have all little kids like, what's that dog, mommy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. And there's, and it's running with Disney, right? So then, you know, it's just cycling with, with, uh, with Disney one of advertising. The biggest companies in the world, you know? Right. Yeah. So. 
it's just it, it's just Volts just making its name, like carving out its legacy and just being accepted by everyone because of the reputation and the community. It's just too strong. So it's wow, look at that. That's cool. Oh, it's gonna be a household name, period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. That's how it is. It's a matter of time. And the right, the right, the right moment. And it's just gonna go boom. And it's like I I say it every day, I feel it. It's like this, it's right there. I know people uh I said that to Belize. He was like, Well, you know, I'm looking at the charts, you know, he's a chart guy. He's <laughs> looking at the chart, and I'm like, I mean, it's something I just feel it, you know. I'm, and I'm just like, I know it's right there, and I'm I'm just so hey. I mean, anybody who got an ounce of sense, an ounce of common sense, well, you know, common sense, they still coming, but if they got an ounce of sense and they actually take a chance and look at the project, it's literally a no-brainer. Like, even, even if you're on crypto, right. you're afraid of all this stuff, I mean, anybody with, with any amount of sense would be like, I may at least throw $100 in. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, Absolutely. It makes sense. And for me, it's like, I, uh, you know, Volt for me is like blue chip, you know, and I'll ape into these real yeah, micro caps yeah. and just, just kind of degen, you know, like throw like a couple hundred bucks and, you know, if it 50 X's, hundred X's, and then, you know, you're taking profit on these micro caps and you just keep adding to your bag of that blue chip because you know, that's, that's definitely the safer one. And, um, that's where your, you know, your big bag is that you keep adding on to keep buying the dip. And I have a, like a separate like little bag of ETH that I use to just, you know, especially when times are bullish, get in these other up and coming micro caps. And, you know, you never know. You might find the next vault highly, highly unlikely. But, um, you know, that's kind of my strategy with it. I have my my blue chips and and that's kind of and vault is like one of the top ones for that. <laughs> So what's your, um, do you have a fight scheduled or are you just training up to, how does that work coming up for you for fighting? Yeah. So I just, I called my manager. So I've been, I've been off for like a year and a half. I've been out of commission twice, like I said, in Mexico for stem cells and just been healing up. I still been training, but not like for like fight ready, really let my body heal. So, um, I just told my manager, I'm like, I came out to Colorado because when I'm at in Florida where I have a house, I'm like. I'm on the ocean every day. Every time the water's flat, I'm like, I got to go fishing. Like, cause I got a boat out there and stuff, or I got to go diving. Like I just, I'm called to the ocean. So I needed to focus. I have coaches out here that are like family. I'm born and raised in Denver. So, um, you know, I have a lot of resources here. So I called my coach before my manager, before I left Florida, which was two weeks ago, I said, Hey, schedule me for end of March, early April. I gave him some names. I threw in Darren Till. I threw in some other names. So, now I'm just kind of sitting back and waiting, um, but early end of March, early April. And uh, so th- it's not a hundred percent scheduled. I don't have an opponent or a uh, location yet, but um, they're looking right now. Maybe we can all come out and watch a fight. Yes. That would be epic. Right. Maybe that'll be a meetup. Right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that be foolish right there. Yeah. That's a fun meetup for sure. Oh, that would be awesome. I've actually never been to a fight. That would be awesome. Yeah, we'll have like that the whole army cool. section. We'll get the whole whole army to buy in a section, and everyone will have like the the banners and stuff holding up. And I'll tell the UFC, I'll be like, these are my people. And, then, <laughs> oh, and so when well. I knock the dude out, the camera will pan and it'll just be the Volt Army with Volt signs and Volt shirts just going <laughs> wild. That Go would be right epic. Well, I can see you. that. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. We can make that happen. Right, y'all? We can make that happen. I, I I can make, it happen. Yeah. make it happen. We'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. Yeah. We're taking us We'll Ian, like, where did you learn jujitsu from? Um, just you know, I I learned it mostly um, from a Brazilian here in Colorado, and mm-hmm. just at MMA gyms, you know, Factory X is where I started. Just fight gyms, you know, you do jujitsu twice a week, and obviously, I did it a lot more when I was first coming up um, in the gi and stuff. But now I just um, I'm, I'm a wrestler, so jujitsu came pretty easy to me. You know, it's submission wrestling, so. Um, but yeah, mainly out here, uh, from Wagner Rocha, who's like one of the best jujitsu practice practitioners, he's a freaking world champ and he's a UFC fighter vet. So, um, 
yeah, I learned a lot from him as well in Florida. And uh, yeah, I, I love jujitsu. I think everyone should do jujitsu. If you ever have time and you want to listen to a book or read a book, check out the, fo- the book Breath. It's by the Gracies and it's the whole lineage of – they were from Scotland. They moved to Brazil and they found jujitsu from the Japanese and they said – Let's make a team. And these two brothers had 31 kids, 24 boys with eight different girls. And they were like military, no school. We're doing jujitsu. You guys drink water. You eat these carrots. Like it was like, it's pretty wild. That's why you see so many Gracie gyms all over the world. It's kind of like the lineage of uh, fighting. And obviously Hoist Gracie was the, um, he was the very first UFC champ when there was, a tournament when it was like i'm a boxer but i'm a kickboxer but i'm a wrestler but i'm a jujitsu practitioner i think uh, anybody who knows that in the ring it, i feel like they always win <laughs> with jujitsu yeah. yeah yeah it's a good skill for sure mm-hmm. but some guys are hard to take to the ground so it's mm-hmm. but at jujitsu every girl should learn it self-defense Let's you know you, you know, at <laughs> Yeah, well, come come to Arvada. The uh, what's your name over there? The the Coloradian. What's up? Young Snack. Young Snack. It's your ring yes. a bell. Young Snack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know you. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I Genesis, know you. <laughs> Genesis Genesis Gym. They have a jujitsu class. Come check it out right here in Arvada. Yeah. So there's Ian, one, there's one local to oh. me. I have uh, I've been waiting to go check it out. It's just like with winter and I live on the mountain. So it's like that commitment for me. Like there's 10 oh, feet yeah. of snow on the ground, you know, like, can I make it to the gym today? Yes. Yeah. Young snack. Go right. Tell her, Ian, there's no excuses. <laughs> young snack, you got this. <laughs> Hopefully okay, you got four wheel drive. Fine. <laughs> you, got it. you got it. You got it, girl. You gotta be so a young, Ian, young dangerous If you snack. could fight somebody, like have a dream fight, who would you fight? Uh, if I could fight someone like, uh, like probably like one of the elites, like the Rothschilds or Ooh. the Rockefellers or freaking someone just scummy <laughs> up Bro, there. Bro, if you that... fuck a Rothschild, you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I might die, but he's coming <laughs> with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Like, as far as like, uh. Um, I would fight the champ. I would fight Pereira, the guy who's in my weight class right now, like if, in the UFC. But if I would, if I just really wanted to like take my anger out, like put me in the ring with like people who abuse children, because I will, I will let the wrath of God out on them, because that really yeah. bothers me. So mm-hmm. especially yeah. what's going on in this world. So, uh, but yeah, as far as like in the UFC, I would want to fight the champ, of course, because then I get that belt. And he's not a good wrestler. He's a really yeah, good striker. He better true. knock me out or I'm taking him to the ground. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's That's a I'm a good striker. Time. That's a good time, yeah. 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 I, like, I like to knock people out. I'm a good striker. I'm a good boxer. But this dude is like the world champ in kickboxing. So obviously I'm going to take him where he's he's weaker. Yeah. You know, That's yeah. the strategy. What was your toughest fight? Hmm. Probably my, my toughest fight was addiction. Mm-hmm. overcoming addiction really oh, but um wow. more than any f- uh, man that i've faced it was that spirit of addiction that i had to break the generational curses that was put on me yes and i'm gonna, and I'm gonna pass my kids down a clean slate because of god has cleansed me of that love that but you just started preaching right there. You know yeah. you did that, right? <laughs> you, know you just started preaching, man. You guys, you amen. Talk to you. I had to say amen at the end of that. I always got it. <laughs> now I can't get up and start shouting, but I'll see you. <laughs> you want to do it? Uh, <laughs> we'll turn that thing around. Okay. All right. Why okay. Sunday? <laughs> West YL at? Thursday <laughs> <laughs> <First> night service. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody else got a question. <laughs> Someone's saying wear Volt merch on your next fight. So there, the UFC Ooh. has pretty strict. Do they have yeah. strict uh, rules about um, uh, sponsorships and logos? Oh and yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you're 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 a walking brand for them. Um, yeah, drag them in deep waters. That's right, Golf God. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it's kind of. Uh, I, I got to be careful with my words. You know, the UFC, 
they just they got their sponsors and they want us to wear their sponsors crypto.com you know Mm -hmm. right on my chest uh venom and uh yeah they're they're really really strict and i would get fined and probably kicked out of the ufc just because of i've 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 gotten a few warnings from from shilling projects at the pi and stuff and uh so yeah, it's 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 a little difficult, but I can wear it in interviews. I can wear it in the um, I can wear it in like media day, but and I can also vote my opponent. But as far yeah, as yeah. walking out with it on, <laughs> uh, that's why we'll show up because we'll show up and we'll have like signs. I know I could I could it might just be my last fight in the U.S. No, <laughs> I'll post you ready for that yet. Yeah. He ain't ready for that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Like, you imagine those <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if she cuts a check, I might do it. But uh, yeah, it's mm. it's just they it's got really bad too because like that one fight, UFC 272, everyone was like, Thank you, Marshall, which is Joe Rogan's dog, and which was a, a project that would just help fighters. They were paying like 10 grand every fighter, 50 grand for the fight of the night bonus picked by the people in the telegram and the community. And that got shut down. And then, and then crypto.com, crypto.com said, we need to now bonus fighters out in crypto because we saw Marshallino doing that. And it changed the UFC forever. Now, at, in pay-per-view fights, fighters get bonused out in Bitcoin uh, because of Marshallino. And obviously, it just created a lot of uh, – Brendan Allen, he vaulted his opponent. I think we could still – get away with that Shh, don't tell them what that means but uh i think we could still <laughs> vault our opponents so uh for now it's just gonna have to be spoken but um we'll do what we can uh, represent and obviously anything outside of in the arena and in the cage we can fully represent the vault army but it's like i said earlier you know it's like dropping the subtle hints the subliminal right. messages yeah i see it everywhere and it's all gonna come together that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes that's more bullish, like that soft show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the people that know, know. Obviously, you want to no, say, yeah. hey, yeah. vault Inu. But like when you say, I vaulted my opponent, that went, we went crazy when Brendan Allen mm-hmm. did it. You know, the fight, I, I'll be real. Brendan's my boy. That wasn't his best fight. That wasn't like, but like, I feel like Gilbert's going to do it. I want to see a knockout. I want to see him. Ah. I don't want to see you say I'm a vote. Hey, I'm vote. Yeah. I, and you know the memes that are going to come from that, and uh, yeah. the whole army is going to go wild. For I'm real, for real. Yeah, it's going to be voted. I'm just like you, like you're making me excited right now. I'm like, yes. I'm ready for the fight right now. Let's go. <laughs> <Shadow> <laughs> that's uh, all I, That's my boy too, but he's fighting my other boy. But you know, <laughs> he's part of the vote army. So, well, well the vote army says. Gilbert Burns, <laughs> let's right. go, Gilbert. Let's that's go. Right. Let's go. Oh my goodness! Oh my let's make goodness. Sure we, uh, let's make sure we let's make sure we we hit him up all before and after, and during and after. Just yes, so, yeah, yeah. Yes, go crazy. Retweet his stuff. We'll we'll get some bullish tweets out, and let's just the whole Vol Army just come around. And uh, obviously, when he wins, make sure you're tagging UFC. Gilbert just vaulted his opponent, and. Uh, yeah, it's it'll be cool. I'll try to. I'm gonna tweet something out. I'll be like, I gotta think of something subliminal. Maybe even the electricity bolt. Because sometimes when I tweet after, it comes up on the screen. Yeah. But I gotta do something slick. So I'm thinking about it, trying to get that up there. Maybe just a little like lightning bolt after. We'll all watch for it. <laughs> yeah. A little, a little, a little subtle really one. Good. Just a subtle one, because you know <laughs> the USC sees any shilling, they're like, boom, no. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on. Uh, Crypto Che said I can DM someone to vid. So, yeah, and Crypto Che, Crypto Che is legit with coming out with the edits. And uh, Crypto Che, get some good ones of Gilbert um, for us to be able to tweet out this weekend. That would be much appreciated, my man. Jump in my DMs and uh, let's get those tweeted out because he's the man. He can make people. He can turn you into freaking <laughs> Volt mode. <laughs> and, and uh so let's get some edits Crypto he's Shay. one of our real secret weapons man he, For real. he does a lot and i just tell you guys he's got a tweet out there plug 
We need a thousand likes, retweets, whatever on there, so somebody can win that mm-hmm. dragon, that VDSC yeah, guys. Yep. Yeah, let's go. I don't know how we haven't done it so far. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's well, say if you can, you can post it in the long. post it in the chat. I don't think I have any uh things on right now. Post it in the chat so they can hit it up. But yeah, guys, and if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Follow everybody. <laughs> every, a lot of people here have. Some- yeah. Every. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that real quick. Uh, Miss Sandy, she don't have a channel yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, only yeah. Sandy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a channel yet, but it is coming soon. Coming to a channel there near you. you. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Miss Young Snack. We have a, she's the developer <laughs> of Ship Roby. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hit her up. Hit her up. Hit her up. Miss Tasha. Okay, Tasha's just bolted. <laughs> just bolted. <laughs> Period. <laughs> And one day, you guys have to check out some uh, things we'll bring her on, and she'll be able to share her story, guys, because. It's a voltage story, and she has been here uh, through the whole thing. And I think a lot of people uh, can relate. Kira girl. Ah, that's my security <laughs> girl. I say my, but I know she's everybody. But, you know, it's Kira girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. <laughs> you know, she does her thing. You hear um, NZ. What's up, NZ? Hey, you NZ, got a channel back? I don't know if you got a channel or not. I don't. I'm just okay. voted. <laughs> She's voted. I'm just voted. Okay, okay. okay uh, that's right. okay. She's gonna have one. Here we're gonna yeah, speak we'll get one. one. <laughs> get one. How about that? And, and, and space right, chick. Yeah. I know you know space chick. Uh, what's up, space chick? Oh, space we do need to get these ladies all to have a YouTube channel too, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Getting them together, and then I have Mr. A series. It's called Snack Time, where I do AMAs and other projects. I mean, it's a start. There you okay. go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you Put go. your plugs in. Put your plugs in. But Attic, mm-hmm. Attic Trade. I don't know exactly everything he does, but I know he does a lot. You want to share some? <laughs> yeah, I do uh, videos on trading and vote. Yeah. Um, anything with the markets. Anything with the markets. But but mo- mostly, if you go to my channel, it's just vote. On a daily oh, basis, baby. you know what I mean. I vote it up, man. Like, <laughs> I love I'm just trying to spread the word, man. I'm trying to do the best I can. I do giveaways to draw attention to it. You know what I mean. So, and Ian, yeah, you have you a know. you do some some. Uh, does everything. Come on, yeah, Ian. Come on, man. Come on. You're, you're uh, you know, yeah. I know you're on a lot of stuff. So, what do you <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Crypto Kings channel. We got that. That's the YouTube channel. Um, we just did our first live stream today. It was good. So, we'll be covering all things crypto, new projects, Volt Inu. Um, check that out. And then we do Shill Tank, which uh, I know not all the Volt Army like Shill Tank, but for you DJs out there that want to find some some x's uh we it's like shark tank and it's a twitter page it's free to come show your project shill vol inu i love when vol army comes through i give they give a good shill um but it's basically shark tank for crypto and we either roast these coins or sometimes we invest and you never know what you're going to get <laughs> on shill tank so that's every tuesday and friday and then uh obviously just ian heinish mma on twitter so yeah by the way, I do a uh, technical analysis. So I have also a- on both. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I need to learn that. Like my guy Dude. B Roots is good at that. I'm, he's like, bro, that he's like, for the next bull run, you need to learn this, man, because it just gives you that edge. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yup. Yeah, you know bro, when to addicting. buy in. You know I mean? yeah. yeah, I'm kind of I'm I'm learning, but uh, it's simple. It's so simple. It, it is you it just is cut out simple. all the noise. Yeah. It's very simple. So why haven't you convinced B Roots to jump on the boat wagon? Yeah, I don't know. He's he's just <laughs> he's been playing hard to get with Voltoshi, and uh, I don't know. They they were supposed to do something, and then they just kind of came out of communication. But uh, I'm working on him. I think he secret, secretly has a bag because he knows what's up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, keep spamming uh, B Roots because we need to get him on the Volt Army, hundred percent. And yeah, so, with that being said, here we want to see. I know you do a lot of shilling all day long. So, my question is this as it concerns the widget. Uh, just a question, and this is for everybody, but I'll ask him first and then you guys can chime in. But, how else would you, 
how else or which other way would you think that we could get the word out for widget or whatever? Voltage change. The word out? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Voltoshi's doing a great job. Like, you know, like like I said, getting all these up and coming projects because who knows? Like, you know, I, I'm not saying all these projects are going to be like Volt, but one some of them are going to do really good and get a lot of attention. And you know, Voltage Change needs volume. Volte change needs recognition and Volte change needs to, ch to turn people from their old ways that they're used to using Uniswap to just put in Volte change on there because uh, he's doing everything that an investor wants. Like I said, it's nice when you buy a coin a lot, you jump on, you don't even mess with the gas. It's saved. It's ready to go. Boom. You trade. You see what's trending. You got um, obviously the limit orders coming, which is a game changer because if you can set a limit order and go to sleep at peace, hey, I'm going to buy the dip. Or, hey, if this hits my price target, I'm taking 50% out. That is a game changer. So I think that's perfect. Yeah. And then the marketing he's doing with it as far as, hey, projects, if you want to put it on your website with the widgets, we'll give you a free tweet about your project. It's bullish. It pumps your coin because Volt Army is huge and just recognition. I think that's good. And then obviously they have the competition with the Shiba Inu. They need to attack the micro caps. They need to attack the big boys, Shiba Inu and Doge, getting that volume. It's all about getting the volume through there and just slowly transitioning people to making it the new norm, which is Volte change. Because why would you not? It burns your coin. It burns Volt. Why would you not use it? So common sense man. yeah it's uh but like i said it it takes time and it takes the marketing that volt uh that voltoshi's doing i mean he's you got volte change on the biggest billboard in america so he's doing the right things i don't there's very rarely i give voltoshi suggestions because the guy's just on top of it and i'm just like man how do you think of that that's genius you know and so uh the dude's on point and uh he's always responds when you reach out i mean this guy he must it must be I, sometimes i'm like it's a team it's got to be a team because how you tweeting 24 7 <laughs> responding to, to people all the time thinking of all yeah. these ideas you know what i'm saying running freaking telegram chats i mean i know he's not running it but that's the volt army stepping in the volt army's uh following Voltoshi's lead so but he's in the chat still doing everything he's he doing is. He's, still, he's still taking the time to actually read people's messages and joke around with them so. Voltoshi's an alien yeah he is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love his tweets I love him and I expect I, I from you know as I'm in the voice chat like all day but anyway I love messing with Voltoshi in the chat boy because some days you know you know some days are rougher than the other ones you know <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it's like with Toshi, hey, drop one of those crazy tweets, you know, to you know get the day going and stuff. And I just love when he, he does that. I mean, no matter what, he shows up and he shows out every day, whether yeah. he wants to or not. Sometimes I every like morning at the same time he tweets out good morning. Absolutely. Every what what's morning. the time? Around five, five, four in the morning, four thirty. Well, Eastern time, my time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Early. Early, 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 yeah. Yeah. But do you start your day with a Vatoshi tweet? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Every day. Good morning. Yeah. Who's voted today? And I know how it is because you got to constantly think of like content to put out. And I'm like, <laughs> I do it. I do it in my, you know, I have to schedule my tweets and, you know, the night before. And I'm still adding the day of for the trading hours of here, which is, you know, which is really like 7 a.m. Eastern to like 4.35 p.m. And I'm thinking like, that's a lot of work for him to do it 24 seven though. Like he hits, he hits every time zone. He hits trading hours and every single time zone. So, and sometimes he'll just send memes back and forth. I'll just send memes to him. And he's got some funny <laughs> ones. He's, he's crazy <laughs> like that. He has the crazy, did he? You see the one where he's got the two, uh, the gorilla and the whatever, and he's eating the, the tree. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, obviously we're all in crypto, you know, we want to make money, you know, and, but at the same time, we're having fun. Yeah. And the Volt Army makes it fun with the yeah. memes and just like, just back and forth, just, um, you know, and, and you're making connections, like you're, you're in actual community that cares. So it's cool. 
That's the thing about it. So Cassidy has a question. Would you fight one of your friends in the UFC if a match came out? Um, If the money was right and if it was like – if it was my boy, though, I wouldn't be like – I would tell him, like, no, give me a different matchup. But if me and him were like one and two, yeah. and we had to fight for the belt, we just have to put that friendship aside real quick. We'd probably be better friends after, to be honest. But um, other than that, I wouldn't want to fight any of my friends. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if you had the option to say no, you know, with that, but I guess, I guess you do. Um, you could just tell them like, Hey, it's my teammate. Yeah. You know, mm. yeah. but uh, yeah, you, you used to not have the option to say no, but nowadays they're getting a little pick and choosy mm. back in the day. You just get a name in your email and that's it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I don't. I don't want to jump over anybody because <laughs> this show. <laughs> I, know what you're I, love, I love how you said having fun. So y'all know I love to have fun. Don't nobody know you don't know Eon. E Eon, sorry, Ian, but I love to have fun. I'm a jokester. I love to have fun. But you know, there's a time and place for having fun, right? Okay. okay. Mm. But anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> there is. There's a time and place for everything. You trying to be but, <laughs> That's my plug. That's my plug for in the morning time. Anybody want to have fun between four and eight o'clock in the morning? I'm on the VC. <laughs> yeah, come on in and join me. We can laugh and be ha ha all morning long. And then the serious people come on yeah. after that. It's on. Um, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> so four to four to eight in the morning. <laughs> Like I get up between four and oh, five yeah. every morning, and yeah, so Eastern, yes. Oh, you that early shift? Yeah, so I do this early shift, and now I'm on off and on all day. But I'm 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 kind of the jokester in the morning, try to get everybody up and try to get them laughing, and you know, getting the day started and stuff. So I'm definitely a fan of people having fun while they're making money or while everything's sitting and uh, mm -hmm. doing what it needs to do. You know. Makes mm -hmm. the day go by. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, please, you, you should so you should have seen my uh, good morning uh, video I put up today because I I love just getting positive in the morning, and this video is just like touched my heart. This is a good one. Where's if it? you if you want to share it, yeah. Can you can you? Uh, yeah, I can do it. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Can you do it? Yeah. Uh, I can share it for me. Let's see if the we gotta have sound. Let's man, see. I did a motivational video. I didn't get no views, man. I didn't think you know people. I know sometimes people it. don't even like show love for it. It's like, bro, you yeah. need this. I got like. Well, you views had right. one. I would. I would. Why didn't you know? We gotta go. Wait, and it took me about three hours to edit that. <laughs> I'll go. It? I'm gonna go watch it. I'm gonna go. Watch I it. see it. I, just let me know when you're ready. Did you guys hear it? Hold on. Can you hear that? Uh, it's not up yet. Hold on. Oh, I think okay. you have to be up for you to hear it. So hold on. Let's see. Because you got a mic on it. Okay. Let's see if you guys can hear this. I don't know if you saw. This is just little Jamaican kids. I did. And it's just like going viral. It's just like inspirational. All right. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I just thought that was just like, I like it. that was just like, <laughs> the kids in the background too. I know, right? Yeah, I like gotta it. love it. Like That's it. what I'm talking about, Ian. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> You got to wake up and get motivated. You got to motivate yes, you yourself. Do. And if you can motivate somebody else around you, uh, that's what this, to me, as, as, cause I've been in here a year mm -hmm. now and I, from the time I came in to where I'm at now, obviously I'm, you know, way more where I'm at, you know, cause I'm not a YouTube person, but now I'm on YouTube. So it's like, okay, you know, pray for me. But anyway, <laughs> crypto is stressful. Crypto is, I'm like at, stressful. it is, it's very stressful. But it's for vote. It's for generational wealth. It's not. It's not. It's not for anything else but for vote. 
you know, in my generational wealth. And when I when I make it there, uh, you know, I might do a video. Never. But anyway, <laughs> 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 but until we get where we're supposed to be, I have to do my part. And so I say, I'm going to say this hats off to everybody that's on here right now, because I know you all are doing some part to, you know, you have a part to play in this. The ones that are seen, the ones that are not seen. Uh, I know Vitoshi appreciates you. We are, everybody appreciates everybody. I just say this, uh, as we keep going further uh, in this, um, in this adventure, because, you know, every day to me, this is, Whenever we get our little documentary on vote, it's going to be bullish. It's going to be crazy because it's going to be so many parts to it and so many stories that uh, people will be sharing about, you know, even whatever the sacrifice, whatever the struggle or whatever they had to go through just to hold and stuff like that. So for me, uh, vote is it's life and I love it. And so I just appreciate everybody that comes out, supports my channel, supports everybody that's doing channels, you know, cause we don't have to do this. And so I just want to say thank you to everybody. Real talk. So appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having thank me you. on. Thank thank you. You. We appreciate it. Yeah. It's, a, it's more, it's more, it's not about us. It's about what we're trying to get to. And so that's that that's for me is is what it's about. So if we all stay, if we all hold the line, just like the whales is holding the line, if we hold mm -hmm. the line, we're gonna get where we're supposed to be going, you know. So I agree. I absolutely. agree. Yeah. Any final words, guys? Well, just based on what you know, everything you guys um have said and even just being story. You know, it just reminds mm -hmm. me, and, and we have to remember that, you know, we know the destination is coming, but, you know, remember the journey. It's about the mm -hmm. journey. You know, who you mm -hmm. become, you know, going through that journey, because you got to go through the bumps, you know what I mean? There's going to be bumps. There's going to be challenges. It's just part of life, but who you become in the process is what's going to strengthen you. Mm -hmm. So by the time you get to that destination, you're going to be the kind of person with the kind of character, the kind of strength to be able to handle what you, you know, what you, we all have come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just remember, you know, that journey. Yeah, we won it yesterday. But, you know, sometimes God is saying, hey, you ain't ready for that yet. I right. Need right. Right. I mean, so exactly right. You know yeah, I mean? One thing everybody needs to remember, too, like a touch on that is like, Life is 90% of what happens to you and 10% of how you handle it. Like, yes, sometimes you do have to touch rock bottom to be able to see the top again. And just know that you're not alone. You are not alone. Everybody has a story. That, mm -hmm. You know, everybody come from a story. So just listen to Ian and know what he's been through. You know, some everybody's story is different, but it makes you appreciate your situation when you hear others. So I appreciate your story. It just motivated me to know that it's people out here can go through so much and can come out on top. You know, maybe one day, you know, when your vote bag gets so much, you may not ne need to, you know, fight anymore. You know, you get mm -hmm. to a certain age, you say, I can't do this no more. Your vote bag going to be so bullish, bro. You ain't going to have to even do that. You can actually get your <laughs> own fighters, start your own, mm -hmm. whatever your goals are in life, you can do. But you got yeah. a story, I'm telling you, that is a, oh, it's so remarkable. I was sitting here and it felt like I was just like, oh, you you touched me tremendously because I just been through some, through some stuff. So just to hear you and how you came out on top and you putting God first, that means everything to me, Ian. So I appreciate just hearing your story. It just made my story a little bit better. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you for that. That's powerful. Yeah, my question is, do you have a wife? I <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I send him a, I send him a DM, so y'all get over it. He knows what I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, I do have a wife. Yep. Okay, so he knows what I'm asking, so I send him a DM, so I'm not even gonna worry about y'all this time. I I got that covered. <laughs> she was trying to shoot her shot. <laughs> no, again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give us nothing to talk party, about. It's a party, baby. It's a vote party. Ain't that right? <laughs> All right, That's let's right. go. We bolted. 
He knows why I said that because I feel like for ladies' night, um, uh, it's one of the things as we've had the men, you know, three of the top UFC MMA fighters on here, and um, uh, they, you know, Gilbert had his girl, his woman, his wife, excuse me, whatever terminology I want to spend is offending anybody. Big Cat had his girlfriend or wife on there, but I feel like behind every good man is a great woman. Amen. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, as I, I expressed to him, because it's ladies night, it's, it, I, I'm thankful that he's here and everything, but I also would like to see, would like him to, you know, if his wife were available to come on and be able to share, you know, some of her little things, you know, for, to encourage the women in the crypto mm -hmm. space and stuff. So, um, that's, I, that's the reason why I asked the question. If at some point, because you know everybody's not wants to go on the camera, but yeah. I just it's wanted to put that. She's a better outside of Gilbert's um, you know, wife. She's yeah, she she's is a, she's beautiful, man. That blue dress was hitting. I'm gonna tell you that right there. <laughs> that blue dress and that, yeah, that, I was like, wow, she is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I just but also to uh, to celebrate men as well. You know, you have to if you're in partnership, you're in partnership. Right. Ian? Mm -hmm. you're in partnership. Yep. So, yep. Amen. You have to keep that. You got to keep that line. And for me, uh, and this might get off target target. But for me, uh, husband and wife is husband and wife. There should be no nobody in between it or anything like that. And so. Uh, when you when you're when you're doing things as Ian's doing and he's all over the place, you know, all over he's being seen everywhere, you know, you have to have a strong woman behind you mm -hmm. to be able to handle that. And so uh, those That's are right. you know just some of the qualities I feel like that really for me, and I have other women that'll be coming on just you know, I just haven't said anything yet, but mm -hmm. I would like you know strong women to come on and be able to, you know, say hey. Because they've been, they're they're higher than where we're at. You see what I'm saying in the crypto space and different things have been there and uh, you know got uh, exchanges and different stuff like that. So this is just one of my things that I just wanted to share there. Absolutely. Like that, Chris. Amen. What is that? All right, is everybody done? Because we done kept you for an hour and forty one minutes, and I am appreciating every moment or yeah, hour and whatever. <laughs> it was really good, guys. Yeah, I appreciate really you, brother. Taking yeah, man, you as well. I appreciate and, all you know, your ladies. Go ahead. Invite to come back, sir. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. And we'll plan. Yeah. We'll get. We'll get. Uh, we'll get it going with Voltosha or someone to make sure we get a some sort of meetup. Um, now, now that we all said it, we're gonna do it. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm all about it. Make it happen. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, ladies. Thank Thanks, you. bro. And uh, appreciate everyone in the Volt Army who tuned in. And uh, I just tweeted it out. So rewatch this if you haven't. And um, we'll see you guys at the top. Yeah. And I just want to be Bye, ladies. Bye. 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 All right, Bye. guys. Bye. See y'all later. <laughs> Good night. Love you guys. Love y'all. Love you too, uh -oh. y'all. Uh -oh. I think I left instead of. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What you doing? This book is a mess, then. I hope you're still alive. Good seeing you, girl. Good seeing you. All right. What? Huh? How are you? Oh, girl, I'm so. Um, girl, being a part of this is such a blessing, girl. We might need to talk off. Off camera, but I'm, oh, I'm just so, so I'm just so excited. You look good, Sandy. Oh, thank you, Boo. 